Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to our decimal unit video called Multiplying Facts. Um, the learning target today is that you will be able to multiply multi-digit numbers by the end of this. And you should have some experience with this from your elementary days, but we want to make sure we can do this so that when we get into decimals, we are set to go. So, some things to think about, and when you see this icon, it's going to tell you this is probably a word I should know or be familiar with. So it's going to tell you in the future when you see that you might um, take out your vocabulary and fill in that uh, what that word means if you weren't sh already sure. So what is a multi-digit number? Well, we know multi really means multiple. And digits are our numbers 0 through 9. So a multi-digit number is really just a number that's more digits than 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So even 10 is a multi-digit number, um, 326. So anything that is has multiple digits, more than one digit. So 10, 329, 1,324, etc. Um, what's happening when we multiply numbers together? So multiplying, you've done it, you've seen it, but we want to know what does it mean and why are we doing it? So think about when you see this, this is going to tell you that you want to think. So I want you to think to yourself and kind of answer to yourself even um, before you move on. This might be a good place to pause and think. Um, what is happening when we do multiply numbers together? So the answer to that question is that multiplication is really repeated addition. Um, it means that we are saying, what's 3 times 4? So it means that we have 3 added together 4 times. Or we have 4 added together three times. Notice how they both equal the same number. So it's actually just repeatedly adding a number. Notice even down here we have 78 times 3. That means we have three 78's added together. It could also be that we have 78 threes added together but that would get a little bit more extensive. So this is an easier way to write repeated addition. This would be a good vocab too. So when numbers are too big to do repeated addition, like that 78 times 3, what we do is we try to find a different strategy. So here's a spot where I would maybe encourage you to think about what different strategy would you use? When you look at these, this might be a good place to pause and think, what would I do here? Standard algorithm, partial products, um, lattice method, different things that you've learned in the past. What you're going to find in math now is that there's not one right way to do things, um, and that you find what works for you. So here, when I see 12 times 8, what I picture is actually that this 12 is the same as 10 and 2. So I do partial products here, and I say, well, 8 times 10 is 80, and 8 times 2 is 16, and I add those together. Which essentially is what you're doing when you use the standard algorithm here, and I do 8 times 2, is 16 and I could bring it down or bring it up sometimes I do like this um, and 8 times 10 there so I imagine that this is a 10 and I put fill in for the ones place so 8 times 1 then is 8 which is 80 for 96 additionally I could use partial products again for this next one and say this is the same as 20 and 3 together. Well, 5 times 3 I know is 15. 5 times 20 I know is 100 for 115. This is a little easier when it's these single digits. On the next page, we'll get to multi-digit numbers, um, and it gets a little bit more challenging. So 7 times 9 here, I know that is 63. And so I could bring the 6 up here. It's another way to do it. And then I do 7 times 8, which I know that 7 times 8 is 56, because I see it as this way, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, but I have to add 6 to it, and 56 plus 6 is 62. Again, another way I might have done that is to do 89 and 7. And again, picture this as 80. Picture this as 9. Did them separately and made sure I fill in my zero and then added them together. 
So when we are multiplying numbers that have more than one digit, multi-digit numbers, there's a couple steps, and these are maybe a little bit more lengthy, but they give a good idea of what you have to do. So here, step one would be to multiply the ones place of the number, which is right here, um, by both the first and second digit. So I'm going to go three times one, which is three, and three times two, which is six. Step two then is that I am using the tens place, so that one there is in the tens place, and I'm multiplying that by the second number, both digits, but I'm filling in a zero here because I'm not multiplying by one, I'm actually multiplying by 10. And anytime you multiply a number by 10, you have to hold that place value of the one there as well. So one times one, or really 10 times one, it's gonna be that one there. And then that one times two is two. So bring that down, you're gonna add your partial products together for your full product. So we add three and zero, six and one, and there's really a zero here, zero and two is two for a total of 273. So here I'm gonna multiply my seven times four and I get 28. So again, this is going above the ones place, so I have to bring my two from 20 into the tens place. So it's a nut, that's two additional tens that I'm counting essentially. So I am taking seven times three then, which is 21, but that's plus the additional two for 23. Again, this six is like a 60, so I fill in the zero. Six times four is 24. Again, bringing up that two. Six times three is 18, plus that two is 20. So then I add those together. Eight plus zero, three plus four, two plus zero, and zero plus two. This would be a point too where you're, if you're feeling good about it, you would pause me and that you would try these two on your own and then you could press play and then see if what I did and what you did is the same or we get the same answer or if our steps are varied at all. So on this next one, since there's a zero here, I know that zero times any number is going to be zero. So I simply hold that place value and move on to the tens place. Three times five is 15 carry my one, three times four is 12, but I'm adding that one, that extra tens place, and I get 13. So my answer here was 1,350. All right, another one, 999, sorry, 99 times 99. Um, estimating here, you could think, okay, I'm gonna, it's kind of like 100 times 100, so it's gonna be a little bit under 10,000, um, and I'm gonna, just do my math here, so nine times nine is 81. Carry my tens place. Nine times nine is 81 plus eight. It's gonna be 89, so 891. Bring the zero to hold that, because you're now in the tens. Nine times nine is 81. Carry your eight. Nine times nine is 81 plus another eight again. Then you're gonna add those partial products. One plus zero. 9 plus 1 is 10, so again we bring down that 0, carry the next to the next place value because we're going there, and then that's 18, written our 8, take over the place value, 1 and 8 is 9. So like I estimated, this is slightly under 10,000 because these numbers were under 100. Here's a couple for you to try. Notice they're varying in difficulty, going from multiplying by um, one digit to two to three. So give these a try. This would be a good place if you wanted to pause um, to see how you're doing. So I'm going to kind of whip through these ones a little bit faster. So 4 times 1, 4 times 3 is 12, carry my 1, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Again, estimating would be a good idea here too if you needed to. On this one, there's two digits. So I'm going to do 4 times 6, which is 24. 4 times 5, which is 20, plus 2 for 22, carry my 2. 4 times 4, 16, plus 2 is 18. Moving on to my tens place, I need to pull in a 0. 3 times 6 is 18. Notice now, this 2 is no longer there, so you can either erase it, or I usually just 
right over it with my next number so I can see that's a 1 from my 3 times 6 is 18. So when I get to 3 times 5 is 15 plus that 1 for 16. Replace the number. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 more is 13. Add them together. Remember this is 10 so I bring the 0, carry the place value. There we go. Last one again, this is a larger multi-digit. You can picture this number is probably going to be pretty big. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 4 times 8 is 32. So you're really just ignoring the zeros and multiplying the one-digit numbers that you feel comfortable with. 2 times 3 is 6. So it's really 20, remember. 20 and 1. 2 and 8, 16. Since this is a three digit, we're going to have a third number. Since the 7 now is in the hundreds place, we are going to put in two zeros to fill those in. 7 times 3, 21. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9. 7 times 8 is 56. 5, 6, 7, 8. Remember that trick. We're going to add all these together now. 2. 5 plus 6 is 11. Carry the next place value. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 6 is 9. Plus 9 is 18. 1 plus 1 plus 6. And then 5 is added to nothing. So there we are.